Hi, Guy here from Bugs and Stuff and GiantSpiders.com. We're in Mexico and we're searching for another spider, Brachypalma Vedesi. Team shot here, there's me on the left, Andy Smith in the middle and on the far right, Stuart Longhorn. So a typical habitat for this species is dry deciduous forest on the Pacific coast. We always tend to stick to the embankments as this gives us easier access to the spiders if they're in that region. The species like most Brachypelma digs deep burrows, not using too much silk. And the first ones we find here had a small veil across the front. So let's remove that silken veil and find out if there's a spider inside. The usual trick of tickling the spider to the entrance with a stick done by Stuart here was helped by a very hungry tarantula. Reluctant to come out too far though, so this one we couldn't actually get out. So one of the first ones we actually managed to get out of a burrow was a juvenile. Right. So check out the sandy coloured soil and how dry it is on the surface. This of course reflects nothing on the conditions inside of a burrow which can go quite deep. So inside burrows it's often much more humid than it would be on the surface and of course much cooler. In this area it gets very very hot, difficult to work in, temperatures reaching around 37 to 40 degrees. So the second one we came across was a huge female and as you can see she was really defensive. Protecting her burrow entrance there which disappeared down between two large rocks. Reluctant to come out again but also stayed at the entrance to defend it which is quite unusual for Brachypelma species to be this defensive. Usually they rely on their urticating hairs which cover their abdomen for their first line of defence. The spider was freshly moulted when we eventually got it out. Nice dark specimen and a big specimen too. Often Brachypelma vedesi is thought to be one of the smaller of the Brachypelma genus but as you can see, the specimens we find are really quite big. Photographs and filming all done. Time to return the spider to its burrow. Down you go. Push down your burrow. Down you go. There you are. Another roadside embankment burrow for this one. And another reluctant spider to actually be enticed out by Stuart. Again, check how dry the surface of the ground is and how dry those leaves look. Our final burrow was huge, the definitely the biggest Brachypelma burrow we've ever seen. This was a temple site. and a big spider inside as you can see no small stick for this one another hungry spider inside so it didn't take long for the spider to respond the biggest brachypelma of the trip a big old female 
probably in need of a malt. A very heavy set spider with the typical carapace markings. A little bit faded in need of a molt, but nevertheless one of the biggest specimens we've found in the field. Looking at the shape and the coloration of this species, you can understand why originally it was misidentified as a Phonopelma, and it was often described as a Phonopelma pallidum, before Gunter Schmidt in 2003 described it as Brachypelma videsi, after Jean-Michel Videz, one of the first people to realise that it was misidentified. Stuart there taking lots of pictures. I've kept these in captivity for many years and it was a real privilege to actually find them in the wild. So handling is always done in a very safe way, sitting down. I've had ones about this size. Still as big as I've seen them. In the background there you'll see the temple, which is the perfect habitat for these spiders. Another close up of a magnificent spider. definitely one of the highlights of this Mexican field trip. Good shadow work. A quick close up on Andy's hands here before releasing the spider back to the burrow from which it came. Job done. <laughs>